Pete Donaldson at V Festival for Absolute Radio. With me, Mr Nicky White from the Manic Street Preachers. Good afternoon. Yeah, you feeling good, fella? Yeah, not bad. You just got on site. I've actually just watched you come on site, actually. Um, and uh, Sean actually had um, a backpack on. Why was he the only one uh, carrying equipment? Uh, that backpack, he searched high and low for that. It's one of his sort of, you know, it's unbreakable. It's his baby, is it? Yeah. It's his baby. It's just, what does he keep in there? Sandwiches? Please say sandwiches. Stuff. You know, it could be something dodgy. <laughs> I doubt it. No, it's probably some drum stuff, gloves. <laughs> Bloody drum stuff. They love their equipment, them drummers. Uh, you're about to release your singles uh, collection yep. in October. Uh, More Town Junk it is uh, well, sorry, celebrating 21 years since uh, More Town Junk. Yeah. Um, what's going to be in there, I guess? Just just the, apart from the... It's 38. I mean, Forever Delayed, which came out, is it 10 years ago now? Yes. It's the first greatest hits. Yeah. It was only actually 19 of our singles on there. And, yeah. Uh, it was our fault. We were a couple culpable at the time. It felt like more of a taster than. And since then, obviously, we've had some. You know, you love alone, and it's not what we had. Some really big yeah, yeah. hits. And so it's every single from Motown Junk to right through to a new song. We we covered the the um, This Is the Day by the the. Yes. Which will be a new single. Thirty eight. And it's just tying things up. Really, yeah. this is the end of a, a, a large part of our career really postcards you know just one of the most enjoyable records we ever released and we love yeah. it to bits and we wave in all those good times goodbye you know, is, is, this, <laughs> is this a winding down my word i uh, know it's just i think it's going to be a couple of years before we you know do it there will be no gigs next year i don't think no um there won't be any records for a couple of years Spe speaking of postcards uh tim roth uh, obviously the, uh, the front cover um are you sad that his uh, much maligned tele television show, um, Lie to Me, has been cancelled? I don't know whether you watch that programme. Do you know, it's one of those, if there wasn't so many adverts in it, it'd actually probably be quite enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> it's so hard, isn't it, just to pick a thread up. But <laughs> I think, you know, that's standard. There's very few American of shows of that like, that get to the magical eight to ten it's series. It's annoying. I, I sort of followed it all, for two seasons and then it was just... It, it's not even worth doing it anymore. No. <laughs> I mean, when West Wing stopped, I literally cried my eyes out. Yeah. And Sopranos. They were... Have you not picked up on The Wire? Have you not picked up on... Yeah, I think The Wire's overrated. Really? Yeah, I mean, James they Simon? stole my name for a start. <laughs> no, I, James loves The Wire, and I've just... I've never never connected with it. Like no? I, saw, I thought Shadowline was amazing this year. Yeah. With Christopher Eccleston and the BBC thing. That's really good TV viewing. There is a lot of good television around, but yeah, I guess. Um, there is if you're me, yeah. <laughs> is that what you spend most of your time a doing? Lot just of watching time. A bit? <laughs> I used to. I wish I could spend more. <laughs> 20 years uh, since you kind of started in the band, would you say? Pretty yeah, much probably a bit more, less, more in, the, in the band. But yeah, Motan Junk just felt like our first, you know, first time Richie was in the band properly, really. Yeah. And just the first time we felt like a, a rock and roll two de force. And, and, and before before that, you were quite a, a gifted footballer. Are you, you? I was. I'm worried that you're not that you're not giving your handy. football career a chance. No. Are you going to pick it up now? You've got a year off. I soon realised. <laughs> I played. I remember when I went to university and I had a game of five aside, thinking I was still the kiddie, <laughs> and I literally I thought I was going to do an Alf Roberts and an art attack there and on the spot, <laughs> and I just crawled to my room the next day and thought, but yeah. Are you? Uh, no chance. Are you happy to see a Welsh team in the Premier League? Even if it is one. I was. I have to say, I was yes, but I was just more excited by beating England and Argentina in the rugby on consecutive weekends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's been a good couple of weeks. Yeah. Really so has, I was it? very happy. My man was certainly very happy. She's we very were in. Um, about the, about we were in fact. Budapest, and Sean got it on Slingbox, oh, and stuff. we did this amazing festival, and then uh, Wales beat England in rugby. So that was topped it off. It was good. That's about the best to guess these days for me. <laughs> I saw you at the uh, Roundhouse a little while ago. Yeah. Um, you chucked in uh, a track. I haven't seen you guys play for ages. Life becoming a landslide yeah uh, is it nice to sort of have that body of work where you can just sort of jam these sort of it little is, tracks and in and, and, and you really make the, the Manics fans form up the mouth completely oh it is it's, it's you know a gig like this today you don't really get a chance to do no. that but yeah, yeah. I mean the last two we did we did a lot of that you know with My Little Empire and Salted sometimes is off Lifeblood which no one really likes but you know it's just nice to we just need to have time to start rehearsing a lot really we just want to try and learn a lot more of our own songs yeah because you just You've got a hell of a back. There, there's so many of them, and you know, and very different styles. I think moving yeah, forwards. I mean, the first one was almost Guns N' Roses esque with exactly. all the nood uh, not noodling. Nah, you know, there's I mean. a lot of whittling. There's a on bit of whittling. There's a little bit of whittling. I'll pass on that, that on to James. <laughs> <laughs> he won't care. No, he's a guitarist. He they don't care. Exactly. <laughs> um, uh, the rest yeah. of the year, you're just sort of doing a, doing a couple of more. Um, yeah, we're just you know we're, we're putting the the greatest hits out and. 
put the single out with that, there'll be some promotion and bits and bobs. Yeah. And there might be something very special at the end of the year. Yes. Wow. Which will be. That sounds interesting. A unique sneak, and one-off experience. Preview? Is there a I can't really because we're still super group. We don't know if we're going to bottle it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but um, if it comes off, it'll only ever happen once, and it'll be Disco well worth seeing. Disco album. Come on. Who knows? Get involved. That'd Who be knows? brilliant. <laughs> it'll be at Christmas. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Nicky Wyatt, Manic Street Peaches. Thank you very Cheers, much. Cheers, sir. Thank you. Pleasure.